Lynn Brown here this afternoon to show you something with a video that I've pictured on Facebook in a slide presentation, but you just can't understand what it's doing from that. So with the video and with movement and me explaining it, it'll give you a better idea of the newest innovation from Lynn Brown's Innovations, Custom Tree and Saddle, etc. This is a Teskey's Patrick Smith Custom Roper. Really nice saddle, beautifully built. It just uh, didn't work for the roper. He traded it to me for one of my roping saddles, along with a little money. But, in taking this saddle and fixing the problems that it had, took a little overhaul. This is the one in a video earlier that you saw me falling off a of Dillon, bam, like that, without a cinch, without a pad, so on and so forth, because it'd roll around on a horse to beat the band with the good old flat bar angles that come in all the roping saddles and other typical saddles today. But what I did is I put on a, made a set of special bars. These bars give shape to the tree. They give a full channel underneath. They give a lot of twist. What these bars do, I can hold this up here, give you an idea, is they go from a flatter angle to a steeper angle, which is never going to be too steep, but they do that, they also absorb some shock at the same time. That isn't a lot, but it takes some pressure to do this. Just a reasonable amount. That means that you can sit your trot, and this is absorbing it, both sides. This one's been ridden a few times now on my uh, quarter horse, my line back done, and on my mule also, with slide presentations on Facebook on The Mule Underground and on rope to win with the quarter horse. So that is the rear of it. Now what's even more important is what we've done to the front of it. You see it's contacting here. It's not contacting the skirt down here. It will change angle. But it starts at a steeper angle. So what, what we've done is to put the angle of yesterday's saddles and of all of my saddles that I make today, these panels have a layer of eighth inch thick aircraft interior plastic that is the core. That's molded to the shape of a bar that I choose for the tree that I'm trying to fix and work with. In doing that, these are mounted solid in the center. So there is no movement here. There is no bounce. There is no flex or change. This is the shape. You notice that I have uh, some big cuts in here where the strip straps are. I could not install these bars without a bump being right there that would ride right in the middle of the horse's back where it comes up the most, the lowest part of the back, as a stirrup strap bump. The thickness of these good stirrup leathers along with the thickness of this skirting leather, once it breaks in, the skirts break in, you've got the full bump right there. I couldn't bolt these on and get this smooth transition that you see in these skirts and the bars, I should say, that instant angle bars, I couldn't get that. I had to cut the leather out to get rid of the stirrup strap bump first. That's part of the reason these saddles don't work on a horse. The horse is antsy, he's pissy, etc, etc. So this saddle works good without a pad. When you order one of these, you'll get a special protector pad that's 3 8 inch thick with a light layer of fleece, good fleece, no balance shims, no need to use them. This saddle balances on my mule, it balances on my done horse. Because we've made it to where it moves with him, but it automatically holds the saddle up in front. It's these dropping down straighten the tree, along with the fact 
that we have space here straightening the tree front and rear. Problem with all of today's saddles, too much curve in the bar front to rear because too much angle like this making them like two paddles. Putting a big stirrup strap bump in the middle make your horse pissy. He can't reach with the hind quarters without his back coming up and when he does, the stirrup strap bump hits him. One doesn't go with the other. That is the basics with this saddle. Been ridden now a few times with no pad. Works well. Now I'll show you a problem that I've shown before with this saddle when it was all together. The Sherry Servi Barrel Saddle. With this saddle, we're dealing with a lot more problem than the typical 90 degree tree head. This is what happens when you get a full quarter horse bar. Of course, they've got a gullet here that's a little on the side of ridiculous, you know, about nine inches. The bigger problem being that look at the 90 degrees. Do you see what happens? We've got another half inch on each side of these bars with no contact at the 90 degrees. We've only got contact here and here, which is all pinch. It's all saddle dropping too low in the front and pinching and rocking like a rocking chair while it's at it. You turn the bars out, you put the curve in the tree, what little twist was there is gone, but there is no twist in these bars. These bars are almost as flat as a flitter. Very little twist, just some rock. Now why I show you this is not just to knock this saddle, Martin makes a lot of them, but so do other saddle makers. Thinking wide, I can sell it to customer to fix their problem. Why I showed you this is because I can adapt that system to this tree. Anytime I do a saddle like this, it is taking a custom set of bars out of my selection of a few hundred tree bars between the sizes and the models and uh, taking the one that does the fix for this tree, then stuffing after we do the molding of the plastic and the layer of leather under that using layered felt to go ahead and obtain the straightening effect, thinning it out right here to where it doesn't pinch withers effect, reshaping the underside of the saddle to make it work for the horse to give you a good close contact saddle that needs, needs almost no pad. The fact of it is it works quite well with no pad, but you gotta protect your saddle. And a protector pad does that along with positioning the saddle, spreading the weight out, etc., etc. Now let me give you an idea of how versatile a system like this is and how we can fix this saddle. This is an Orthoflex. It's about 23 years old. Still looks pretty nice. The lady said it worked great on her Passos, but she's got a new Passo. The flex panels on it were too long. And this little tree was made to work with the panel system. So what I did is the same thing I did to that roping saddle right there. But I took a different bar to get what I wanted out of this tree. I have the angle change. I have a little bit of shock absorption. So it can go from flat. It can go even more on angle here, but it mainly is going to be touching here, but not here. It will absorb the movement of the gluteals as they contract and work with them. In front, same thing you saw on the old big roping saddle there of Teskis. We've steepened the angle where this one is too, too flat, even on the orthoflexes. They were not, but about a 90 degree angle or a little, little less. On this one, it was uh, not what I wanted. And now we've brought it together. But see, we shave the felt away here to leave more gullet clearance. The twist in the bar brings the bar all the way out to the head of the tree. Here we get our steeper angle, but we can adapt to the animal you put it on. You've got the open channel down the middle. 
and you've got some twist in the bar. That's what makes the saddle work, along with the fact that on a roping saddle like that one, you have taken the skirts that are like a cast on the horse's back to where he can't bend and turn because they're nice, thick, heavy skirts. You've set the saddle up just enough to take the pressure off these skirts. So none of these skirts edges rubbed into the horse and made any hair loss while we were riding or the mule. What you get then is the effects of, oh, my horse works better under English. He bends, turns, he stops, he does everything better because you don't have the skirts acting like a cast. You can get that with the instant angle conversion on your saddle, if you've got a really good saddle you like for yourself, you spent money on, but you're kind of hooked because everybody wants to get rid of it, kind of like this. Well, give me a call, 816-806-4742, Lynn Brown, thecorrector.net. Thank you.